Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to and welcome back to another video. I'm celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video, we're going to be having a conversation about pricing. Listen, it's a conversation that we don't have enough, so let's get into it. I think sometimes as photographers, we can become so excited about getting a first booking, which I mean, who wouldn't be excited to? But are you really charging the right price? And within that price, do you know how much you're making? Well, let's talk about it. One big thing I like to tell photographers when it comes to pricing, whatever you're charging, take away 50%. And that's what you're left with. If you're charging $100 for a photo shoot, after that, 50% uh, is taken away, you have $50. If you're charging $200 for a photo shoot, after that 50% is taken away, you have $100. You have to understand that when it comes to running a business, money has to go back into it. You also have to pay taxes. You also have to do things like put in your savings or you know put a percentage back into your business. And I think a lot of the times when we come to these places, we don't calculate that within the expense. When we're going to these shoots and we're put, giving these prices out, we're not calculating gas, expense, setup time, breakdown time, editing time. All of that plays a part when it comes to the price that you're charging. So yesterday I posed the questions to different photographers over on my Instagram. What stops you from charging more money as a photographer? And two replies that stood out to me was number one, if I start charging more money, I'm concerned that I won't have the same volume of clients that I'm shooting right now. And then also, I work a nine to five job, so I don't really need to charge as much money. But the thing about that is, when it comes to it, if you're working a nine to five job and this is not something you do full time, although I respect that you're, you're out here, you're doing your hustle, you have to also understand that it's photographers out here who actually take this as a career full time. And when you start to charge a price that is extremely underpaid, it hurts the other fellow photographers simply because it starts to create a standard of what clients start to think is the price that photographers really supposed to charge for photo shoots. This is the first video I've placed out in a while and I just wanted to start back creating content and creating awareness of how we can advance as photographers. And I just want to ask you as well in the comment section, what's stopping you from charging more money? I think the way that we advance as photographers and we start to create awareness to other photographers who are coming up is by having the conversation. And this is mine. So I'll see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching. We're out.